Hi, I'm Jam al -Abdi, the Policy Director of the National Iranian American Council. And I want to talk to you about a dangerous new measure that's moving forward in the White House and in Congress that could impact you and your family. If you send money to Iran, or if you receive money from Iran, from an inheritance or a pension, you could go to jail. Reza Banki found that out when his family in Iran sent him some money from a divorce settlement. He has now served almost two years in prison. Because of the broad, indiscriminate Iran sanctions currently in place, that could happen to you. And now, President Obama and Congress have promised to dramatically escalate these sanctions. Sanctions that are not just punishing the wrong people inside of Iran, but are punishing ordinary Iranian Americans like you and me. Regime figures can send billions of dollars to private accounts out of Iran. An alleged terrorist connected to the Iranian Revolutionary Guard can wire money into the U.S. But ordinary Iranian Americans can't even send a couple hundred dollars to Iran to help a sick relative or as a wedding present. And parents in Iran can't send money to their sons or daughters studying at American universities. Sanctions have made traveling by plane in Iran exceedingly dangerous, with over 1,000 people dying in plane crashes over the past decade. Iranians and Iranian Americans are being squeezed from both sides. We suffer from the repression of the Iranian regime and from the disastrous sanctions policies of the United States. We're the innocent victims in the middle. The sanctions policies are not hurting the regime, they're hurting ordinary people like us. And Congress is about to make it worse. There's a bill currently before the House of Representatives that would ramp up the broad sanctions, including new sanctions designed to make it even less safe to fly in Iran by eliminating the president's humanitarian waiver to send civilian aircraft parts and repairs into Iran. While these indiscriminate and inhumane sanctions are being sold as an alternative to war, past evidence shows that it's actually these types of sanctions that bring us closer to war. Now look, many of us would be willing to sacrifice if we thought these policies would change the behavior of the Iranian government. But 30 years of sanctions policies have taught us that sanctions won't stop the repression of the Iranian regime, nor will they contribute to a positive change in Iran. Sanctions only empower the oppressors. As an Iranian American, you can use your voice to stop these policies from going forward. Please, take action. Tell Congress and President Obama to stop punishing ordinary people for the actions of the Iranian government. To take action and to learn more, please visit our website. Thanks so much.